back here to indulge into one of my all-time favorite Navari food, Bara. I'm taking you to this place nearby the beautiful five-story Nadapol temple, run by a duo of Sasu and Buhari where they serve Baras, which are black lentil patties either cooked like pancakes or deep fried, in which case they're also called wo. But I'm not here just to taste the baras. I'm also here to discover the story behind the place and the people who run it. It's gonna be an interesting story. Follow me. Namaste, Ma. Namaste. Ma, as a bara, wo kana ko. Hello. 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 ดาวดาวกาลดาวยูเอยูจะมุกดาวเนาะยูจะมุกดาวเหรอมั้ยเอ็มมิกซ์กอร์ดเนาะยูจะมุกดาวเหรอมั้ยเอ็มมิกซ
Tito, I don't know why, but this one is perfect. It's golden brown, crispy on the outside and tender and mushy on the inside. And the meat tastes amazing, the egg adds the flavor, wow. Usually people use only one kind of lentil to make the bara, but Ama has used moong dal and kalo dal. I think that is why the bara is so different and tastes amazing, trust me. Mm. You see? This one is my favorite part in the bara. Wow, the soup is good too. It has this sour taste. Mmm, it's a bit spicy, adequately salty. Yeah, I, I love the soup too. My favorite part of the bara. Mmm, yolk, meat, and lentils taste amazing together. Yeah. This is my first time I'm actually enjoying every bit of the bara because I usually go for the center. So let me finish this. This place is located right next to the famous five-story Nyarapol temple or you can also see the map that we show below. These baras are delicious, but more than delicious, they're gratifying. And with the owner's story and the effort they put in every day, it makes the bara even more special and so forth. I think that is why this place is so special for so many people because it's not just the taste, it's the story. I'll see you next week as we hunt down another local fair in the city. Until then, keep smiling, stay happy and keep eating. Bye.